So let me show you a little of what's been going on. There is a USB port on this side and I have always plugged my phone in there to recharge it. Uh, that's where I plug my little uh, a little thingy in that read the SD card for my camera. Anyways, this USB port, it has power to it, but for whatever reason, the computer stopped recognizing the port. So, I had two ports on this side. One of which, this one back here has a speaker attached. And this one had this little mouse thing. Uh, you know, you get this little mouse thing inside here and you stick it in there and then you have a wireless mouse. But I couldn't figure out how to make my little touchpad work again. And so anyhow, I bought a USB hub. So I put the little mouse part in here because obviously this had to attach here. And I still have two USB ports available plus an SD card, a regular one, and a mini one in there. So that solves my problem. I have tested this SD card port and it works just fine. So I'm back in business making videos. Hello everyone, it is April 14th, Wednesday. And uh, per the previous clip, that is why I've had some problems posting videos. So, now that that's all taken care of, I know I can post videos again, or I can uh, make videos and transfer them from the equipment onto the computer, we're back in business. Okay, so, before I forget, um... Let's see, it was back in 2014, I gave up pretty much everything I owned and was going to go on a long uh, bike trip and, um, one, you know, some of the things I gave up was just because I couldn't afford to uh, put things in storage or I couldn't ship them into storage. My sister stored a few things for me that I saved, but I mean literally probably a half a dozen small boxes. And one of the things that I got rid of that was just sort of like tugged at my heart was my sheet music. Now I also got rid of my piano. I'll put a picture here of my dear sweet piano. But <clears throat> um, one of the pieces of sheet music, well, it was a book. And I couldn't exactly remember what that book like, looked like. I just knew that like half of it was yellow and half of it was green. And it was all ragtime music. And so I thought, oh my gosh, I don't remember the title. I don't remember. Um, I just don't remember. So then I thought, I should look through all my old pictures and see if I have a picture of my piano and that sh music on the piano. And my piano was from 1907, so um, and I gave it away to a woman who hired professional piano movers to come get it and I, I was very happy that it went to a good home. Um, obviously I couldn't store that. But I did look through my pictures and I was like almost through all my pictures and I found a picture of the music on the piano. I'm going to put that picture right here. So then I knew what to look for on eBay and I had kind of looked through the, all the ragtime music, and I didn't see it uh, before, but as soon as I found this picture, I mean the first page of ragtime music, up it came. Yay! And I used to know several rags out of here. Now, I don't have a piano anymore, but the landlady has a piano that's just in storage in her garage. 
and I'm hoping that when we move, maybe she'll let me put it in my apartment. I mean, she could care less about it because she had to take piano when she was a kid. She hated it. Um, so it's just been in storage ever since. I would put it in my apartment now, but I just don't have room. Yes, I'm not talking to you. So, anyhow, um, I've just sort of covered a couple of things that I have gotten rid of and that were really meaningful to me. And I'll probably recoup a few things, but I mean, really, when I say I got rid of everything, I got rid of everything. Everything. Okay, so. On to crochet. What have I been doing in the crochet world? Well, I finished that afghan. I will call it the spring fling number five. And I finished it in record time. I think I did it in about 15 days. And um, then I got a commission to do another one. So that one I'm working on right now. Let me show you what it looks like. This one I am not going to do in record time. But I told the, the person, I said I'll try to have it done around the 1st of May. But I mean really, the last one I just was like, you know, burning the midnight oil. And I was happy to burn midnight oil, but I just was not going to do that on this one. So, um... This is as far as I've gotten. I'm just starting part seven of the first set of instructions. So this is where I'm at. And yeah, hopefully we'll have that done pretty, pretty soon. Um, and you know, in my last video, I forgot I forgot to show that between Spring Flings 4 and 5, I did a little amigurumi work because I have a great nephew that's going to be born next month. So I decided I'd make one of my little elephants and I'll probably make him a, a little baby blanket, some hats or something as well. But it's not important to me to make sure that they get there in time for the birth. I'm sure they'll have plenty of baby stuff. And so it can get there like a month later or whatever. And uh, let's see what else has been going on. Um, still no news from the loan people for the future buyer of the property so we're still in limbo and escrow expired last month so who knows um so in the meantime i went and bought some little geraniums now i love geraniums i love the smell of them they're really earthy and so let me show you what i got So I haven't planted them yet. They're still in their little containers from the nursery. I got these a couple weeks ago and I've just been babying them along. And they're all different colors. And this one here is just starting to bloom. It's called a white eye. And then I've got pinks and purples and sort of reds. but. I'll put those in the garden soon. So anyhow, it's been really quiet here. It's been overcast the last two days with no rain. But it's warming up enough where I'm starting to think it's time to put away the comforter and just go to a light blanket. I don't know how the weather is where you are. I know parts of the country are still pretty cold, but here in Southern California, it's warming up. And I guess that's kind of about it for this video. I know it's a little short. Oh, but do pay attention. I will be filming 
parts of the making of this and giving some tips and tricks for uh, making it because now that I'm on my sixth one, believe me, I have plenty to say about tips and tricks. So if you're interested in making this, please uh, consult my tips and tricks. And that will be ready, I don't know, probably in May sometime. And anyhow, I guess that's about it for this one. And I will talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.